I'm Dr. Franz Kubach. I'm a clinical psychologist. Oregon State Hospital is a large place, but I think a lot of people are here for the same reasons. You know, um, we have a lot of people here who have compassion and want to help these folk out um, and um, kind of understand the mission. And all of our work does overlap in a lot of ways. I mean, the patients that come in here on admissions will have a lot of uh, different teams along the way, but our work kind of carries over from team to team, so um, I, I think that collaboration is just like a huge part of what we do. A lot of my clinical work actually focuses on creating um, what we call wellness recovery action plans, pretty much relapse um, prevention plans, where we teach the person to recognize like what are the early warning signs of mental health relapse, what are some things in the environment that could increase their stress or lead to worsening of mental health problems, what are the plans for dealing with that when they show up. Um, so part of being able to do that is understanding the responsibility that they have to manage their own mental health after they leave here. And I like to help them create plans on how to do that. We offer a lot in the way of um, treatment classes. Like I'm heavily involved in the um, dialectical behavior therapy program, or DBT for short. But at this point, I focus more on individual therapy because one person's needs are going to be very different from another person's needs. Like someone might be learning how to manage their symptoms of schizophrenia. Another person might be learning how to manage themselves more in interpersonal relationships or romantic relationships. Someone else might have substance abuse issues. So individual work is required there. My version of recovery, I want the person to become their best expert in knowing like what, what they need and to be able to also know that information so well that they can share with other people the skills that they're using, make them understand why it's so important that they keep um, a consistent sleep schedule, um, why they, what they use to like uh, reduce their stress, why exercise is so important to them, like whatever it is to that person, like what types of cognitive techniques, just so other people can, will understand and they are their own best advocate to like remind themselves of the skills and the reasons why they're using them. Greatest rewards for my work? I can think of a lot. I can think of seeing people really progress through the system here at the hospital to really learn to manage their mental illness on their own, to come to terms with the realities that brought them here and not to resist them or fight against them, to learn how to be more effective um, in their day-to-day -day life and in their own care. And then eventually being able to leave the hospital and um, have productive, happy, meaningful lives. Like when I get uh, a card sent to me from an old patient who's now like pursuing education. Um, I think that's awesome. I also find satisfaction in working with teams and getting people to collaborate and to really put their heads together on like what a patient needs or what the community needs to be able to manage a person safely. Um, I like teaching and that includes both patients as well as staff um, and getting people to understand the importance of things like relapse prevention planning. So there's a lot of reward available here at the hospital, whether it's working with our patients or working with our other team members. I think that a good therapist role is um, a teacher um, because you, want, you are not going to be there for your patients, um, following them around in the community, telling them how to like take care of their mental illness or make healthy decisions, right? You want them to learn how to do that for themselves. So I am most gratified when the, my patients learn from like what I'm trying to teach them and they, they understand it and kind of take it and do well with it. Like nothing's more gratifying than seeing someone leave the hospital and just not coming back. <laughs>